Hi class, good day. This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today, it's all about two second segment theorem. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have an illustration right here, a circle and two lines. Alright, so we call this line a second. Sir, why is it a second? As you remember, a second is a line that intersect a circle at exactly two points. So this line right here, we call it second. It's because there are two points in this particular circle. This line intersect at two points, right, within the circle. So we call this the this is the first second and this is the second second. So if there are two second segment, there is a theorem that we need to know. If two second segments are drawn from the same exterior point, so this is the exterior point, then the product of the length of one second. Okay, the length of the one second and its exterior segment. By the way, class, this is the exterior segment of the first second. This one, I will label this one as B. Alright. And its exterior segment is equal to the product of the length of the other second segment and its exterior. So once again, this is the length of the first second. This one, this line here. Length of the first second. Alright. This line, so I will just put it A. Alright, the second second, the exterior, this is the exterior, so I will just put it, I will put it, I will label that as C. Alright, and the length of the second second. Okay, let me label that by, uh, let me label this one by D, the exterior. And let, let me label this, the length of the second second by C, alright, so it stays on the statement, if there are two lines, okay, two seconds are drawn from the same exterior point, same exterior point, then the product of the length of one second, so this is the first second, the length of the one second, so the product of the length of the one second, and its exterior, therefore, we need to multiply this length and its exterior, so that would be A, Okay, the product of the length of one second, this is the length A, times B. Okay, once again, class, do not forget product. It means that there are two variables or two numbers being multiplied. Their answer is what we call the product. So the, the length of the first second and its exterior, you multiply that. So that would be A times B is equal to, is equal to the length of the other second. Okay, the length of the second second, C times the length of its exterior times d so that's it that's the clue right there that's the thing that you will need to remember so the length of the first second times its exterior the length of the second second times its exterior so that's it that's the thing that you need to remember if there are two second line okay two second line in a circle in which they have the same exterior point now, for you to really understand this one, let's, let's, let's try an example. Okay. Let's try an example for this one. Okay. Let me erase this one. Right. Let's try to give some numbers. Alright, what if we say, what if we say you are told to find y? So, what if this is y? And you have a given side, this is 3. The length of the exterior of the second second is 3. The length of the exterior of the first second is 4. And this length inside the circle is 2 for the first second. And you are told to find y. Alright, so once again, the formula, the length of the first second. So, this will be 2 plus 4. Okay, the length of the first second. So we have 2 and then outside the exterior is 4. So 2 plus 4. So this will be 2. Alright, 2 plus 4. Multiplied by B. Alright, the length of the exterior multiplied by 4. Is equal to the length of the second second. Since we don't have the length of inside the second second inside the circle, we don't have the length. So this will be Y plus 3. We all know that we if we add y and 3, this will be the length, so this will be y plus 3, so this is y plus 3, okay, y plus 3, times 
the length of the exterior, 3. Alright, so next is you need to add, this will be 6. So 6 times 4 equals, so this thing plus the y plus 3. Once again, you cannot combine y plus 3. So the thing that you will do is you need to distribute. So 3 times y and 3 times 3. So 3 times y, that would be 3y plus 3 times 3, that is 9. So multiply 6 times 4. So 6 times 4, that would be 24. Okay, let me just write it here. 6 times 4, that would be 24. Equals, okay, 3y plus 9. So to get the value of y, transpose 9 from right to left. Transpose 9 from right to left. This will be 24. Since 9 is positive, you change that to negative. Minus 9. Do not forget that one class. Once you transpose, you change the sign. Equals 3y. So 24 minus 29. So that would be 15. Equals 3y. And to get the value of y class, divide both sides by... Divide both sides by 3. Okay, cancel. And your y, okay, divide both sides by 3, and your y is 5. Okay, your y is 5. Alright, so we don't have enough space. Let me just put it here. Okay, let me raise this one. So, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Then, y is, copy y. So, y is 5. Alright. So, that's it. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Then, copy y. So, that's it. That's how you solve for 2 second segment theorem. Let's try another example for that. Okay. Let's try another example. What if we say... So, we have example right here. So, we have 2 segment line theorem. So, or 2 second segment. So once again, do not forget the product of this first second. So since uh, we have the value of 7 and 6, so if we add 7 and 6, that would be 13, right? So that would be, okay, let me just write it. So this will be, so 7 plus 6, this is 7 plus 6 times, once again, the length of the first second. So... We have 7 inside and the exterior is 6. So 7 plus 6 times multiplied by the exterior, 6, equals the length of the second second. So R plus 5. So this is R plus 5 multiplied by 5, the length of the exterior of the second second. So this is 7 plus 6. This is 13 times 6 equals... So distribute, so 5 times r is 5r, 5 times 5, that would be 25. Next, multiply, so 13 times 6, 3 times 6 is 18, carry 1, 6, uh, 7, 78. So this will be 78 equals 5r plus 25 now to get the value of to get the value of r transpose 25 from right to left so this will be 78 minus 25 equals 5r so divide and uh, subtract first 28 78 minus 25 so this is 3 5 53 equals 5r so divide both sides by 5 divide both sides by 5 cancel so, our R equals 53 over 5. So, check if we can reduce. If we cannot reduce 53 over 5, so that would be our final answer. Alright, so, let's try another example in which we need to factor the answer. By the way, this is our answer, 53 over 3. We cannot reduce 53 and 5. Okay, so that would be our final answer. You can change that to mixed number if you want to, but that's actually okay. So what if we say, let's try another example in which the, the answer is we need to factor it out. 
So what if we say, okay, let's try more, more complicated example. What if we say, this is 10, this is x, this is 2, this is 4. Alright, so the sum of the length, okay, the length of the first second, so this is 10 plus x, so 10 plus x multiplied by x equals, this is 2 plus 4, so 2 plus 4. The length of this one is 6. Actually, you can write 6 if you want to. But I will just write it 2 plus 4. So that so that you will not be confused. So this is 2 plus 4 times the length of the exterior times 4. So this is distribute, this, this distributive property. Alright. X times 10 is 10X. Plus X times X is X squared equals. This is 6 times 4. Right, so 6 times 4. So this is 10x plus x squared equals 24. Next class is you need to this you need to transpose 24 from right to left. Transpose 24 from right to left. So this will be x squared arrange x squared plus 10x positive 10x 24. It will change the sign negative 24 equals 0. So, do not forget, in quadratic function, x squared plus 10x minus 24 equals 0. So, you think of a number, we can factor this out. Factor this out, one, factor this out class, x squared plus 10x minus 24. So, you, in 24, constant 24, you find two numbers, that when you multiply the, the two numbers, you will get 24. At the same time, when you add the two numbers or subtract, you will get 10. So, the numbers, that would be 12. And two negative, uh, no, positive twelve, negative two, because if you multiply twelve and two, twelve times negative two, that would be negative twenty-four. Twelve plus two, that's positive ten. So, factor is out. This will be x plus positive twelve, x minus two equals zero. So transpose, equate into zero. This is x plus twelve equals zero. X minus two equals zero. So this will be x equals transpose 12, ne negative 12, x equals transpose 2, positive 2. But since we're looking for positive numbers, so our answer is 2. So the value of x here is 2. x equals 2. Alright, so that's it class. That's how you solve for 2 second segment theorem. So I hope this video helps. And I hope you learn a new lesson today. So if you like this video... Please do not forget to subscribe in our channel and you share it to your classmates and you have a great day. Goodbye for now.